Please give it up for my dear friend, my brother, Mr. Tony Woods. <laughs> Hello. What's up, man? This is, a, this is a heck of a show. I mean, I understand most of it, but shit. And I've, I've been here so many times, it seems like I should pick up something. <laughs> Nothing. All I ever get is spit in the face. <laughs> really? What does that word mean? Get out of my way. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess you're thinking, wow, this guy doesn't have any jokes planned. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I'm just going to stay up here and waste time for a little while. Because you know how I feel right now. You ever get to work and you think to yourself, man, fuck this job. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> I go all over the place, man. All over the world. I've been everywhere. I haven't been to Africa yet but everywhere. I was in Scotland, and I called one of my buddies back in the States, and I said, yeah, I'm in Scotland. And he said, yeah. <laughs> Which means I don't give a fuck. <laughs> but he said to me something that black people in America say to one another when the other travels. say, hey, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. He said, hey, is it a lot of white folks? I'm like, what? <laughs> Motherfucker, this is where they make white people. This is their Africa. <laughs> and I, I don't know if you've ever been to that part of the country like Scotland, Ireland. They not only have white people, they got fucking orange people too. <laughs> no, look around. Sometimes you see people with a little red hair, but that's it, a little red, you know? But there's like, ooh, put a hat on or something, man. Something's gonna catch fire. And this guy said to me, he says, well, you act like you don't see redhead people in America. I'm like, I do, but not that often, you know. You see them about as often as you see like a midget. He might walk out of your house and go, oh, look, a redhead guy, huh? And a midget. <laughs> which is nothing unusual. Now, if you see a red-haired midget, catch him! <laughs> He's got toys and gifts and gold and... Just shake his little ass. You got something. You know. And I don't mean to make fun of people, but it's, it's easy. <laughs> you know, I go places and people want to know if I see all the nice touristy things. No, I usually just laugh at the people who live there. <laughs> I had an opportunity to go to China. Now, in... <laughs> See, that's funny before you even say anything. <laughs> and in, in my building in New York City, I have two businesses downstairs which happen to be Japanese. Right? One's a travel agent, one's like a money laundering business. I don't know. <laughs> what they're doing, but you can hear them because they speak so loudly. <laughs> and I always think to myself, those crazy little Chinese. But they're Japanese. And then I had an opportunity to go to China and I heard Chinese people speaking and they're like, dong, ding, dong, dong. Dong, dong, ding, dong, dong. And I said, like, wait! These fucking Chinese don't sound like my Chinese. <laughs> it's the same as when I first came here. And I saw brothers like, yo, and I saw him walking and walking up the street and I'm like, yo, what's up, dog? And they say, hunkana, hunkana. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck did you say, man? <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean, son? <laughs> but in China, the main thing I noticed about China is everybody's breath stunk. 
And that's, I know, that's bad to say, but eh. <laughs> it's just a comedy club. <laughs> say what I want to say. And I, don't, I, don't, I can't say everybody's breath stink, but the people I was with, their breath stunk. And okay, I don't mean regular bad breath like onions or beer. I mean that e evil shit. <laughs> They cooked from down in here. Cause if you ever smell someone's breath and they know their breath stinks, they go, oh, I got a sour stomach. And you go, no, motherfucker, I think one of your organs has gone bad. You have you ever smelled someone's breath? It's really bad, but you have to speak to them and maybe somebody you know, like your grandmother. <laughs> You're like, hey, Grandma. You're like, oh, how long is this conversation going to last? And you try to be courteous, so you go, Shh. and try to time it so that when she stops, you can breathe in, but you breathe in and she breathes out, and you swallow it, and it makes you fart like, like, oh, Grandma, what are you eating? This giving me gas. Mm. And I know I shouldn't talk about people. But that was amazing when I was in China and like we had a Korean guy with us and people were staring at us. There's me, another black dude, and this Korean guy and people staring at us. And the Korean guy goes, they staring at us because we are different. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Guess I couldn't tell. But I guess it's the same with white people. Look at black people. You know, I could take three black men from different parts of the world right now. You know, black people know who they are. We, you know, like you could take, you could take like a guy, you know, from the Caribbean. <laughs> He's the guy standing backwards with the hat full of laundry. <laughs> You're like, Nigel, if you take that fucking hat off, maybe you could stand up straight. And then, then you got the, you know, the black American, African American, what do they call us now? <laughs> they used to just call us niggas, but now, but you recognize it changes from different parts of the U.S. You might be bald head, you might have braids, you might have a bush, but most times always got a pistol. So, it's easy to recognize him. I'm joking. And then you got the true black man, you know, from Africa, straight from Africa. Sometimes you don't know him right off, you know. But most times you recognize him because he has a suit with short sleeves <laughs> and white shoes. <laughs> I'm looking around because I know it may be like a really African guy here and go, hey, I did not like that. <laughs> but unlike the African American, you ain't got to worry about him shooting nobody. But if he pull a straw out of his drink, ah! I can't feel my leg. And it's, you know, it's fun to have fun, I guess, you know. This war thing is killing me. Well, it's killing a lot of people. I said, that wasn't supposed to be funny, everybody. You know, nah, man, it's not, it's not cool. I think if we could have sport instead, that'd be cool. I don't mean like, like football or soccer, the regular sports, the, the, you know, the exciting games that you see when you watch the Olympics, those games that you don't never see usually. You know, like that game, you ever see the game when a guy pushes the rock out on the ice and the other guys do like this? <laughs> like it's two janitors and shit with brooms. Like what, like what the fuck are they doing, man? All athletes are good. I used, to, I used to run track. I can't do that no more. I can, but not as fast. <laughs> and I don't like watching track and field. Now, I don't like to watch it, especially with a woman. Because, you know, these guys are much better shape. And, you know, when I ran, we wore, like, shorts and, like, a vest. A little, that's it. That's it. But now they wear these outfits that go, <laughs> and cling. And you see them running, and then they come around the corner, and all you see is.
and you're thinking, I don't, I don't want to watch this anymore. And she says, wait, I want to see the end. The, the end is already hanging out. What are you talking about? He's in third place, but clearly he's the winner. A woman asked me an interesting question the other day. She says, why do you call it a blowjob? And I'm like, I didn't name it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because if it was up to me, it would just be called, uh-huh, 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 yeah, uh-huh, yeah. <laughs> but she says, why do you call it a blowjob? Because you don't <laughs> blow. And I'm like, I don't know what you do. You know, it's like good food. Like, I don't know how you prepared it, but mm, it is fucking delicious. And I, I guess whoever came up with the term blowjob must have been uncircumcised. You know, uncut. Because I think I'm not, I'm cut. All you see is da da. <laughs> It's just a man with a helmet. <laughs> but those guys with the snorkel. That's, it's, it's like having two dicks. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Peekaboo. <laughs> Maybe that's the guy who invented blowjob because you could just like pull it out like a balloon. <laughs> I wonder where I'm gonna go from here. <laughs> Cause I don't know. Cause I was talking about sport and then I just got on blowjobs. Oh well, that could be an event. <laughs> I tell you the one that, uh, that I do like though, the diving. You ever see the diving? How the guys, they walk out there. And does anyone know how high that high dive platform is? See, this guy says 10 meters. 10, that's like way up there. 10 fucking meters. And they walk out like this. <laughs> no, this is how you walk out to something that, what'd you say, 20 meters? You walk out like this. <laughs> you go, hey, 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 don't fuck around. Don't, don't play. Oh, my God. Look at, oh, what the, uh-uh. But they, they walk right out there, you know? And which is double, you know, with a Speedo. <laughs> no sock or nothing. <clears throat> and they just. <laughs> and they go. <laughs> which is impressive enough. And then they hit the water. A whole body falls, would you say, 50 meters. <laughs> and all you hear is kaboom. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. A whole body just fell 60 meters and all you hear is kaboom. That's impressive. Because I make a bigger splash when I take a shit. <laughs> no, no, sometimes my hair gets wet like Somebody bring me a towel. <laughs> and I wanted to, I really came out here to say something important. <laughs> I did, I did. I said, you know what? I'm gonna move them with some important shit. All I have to say important is, it, you know, like right now, the, the climate of the world is blaming everything, a lot of t terrorism on a religion. That's, that's wrong. It's, it's really, that's wrong. It's, it's not the religion. It's the diet. No, really, because it, it, each food affects each person differently, and you are what you eat. Like, I can eat cake, I can eat McDonald's, I can eat all that. Boom, I don't gain a pound. I know people eat one cupcake. You know, like, you know, people eat too much chicken.
What the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing. People eat too much beef. Hey, what are you guys doing? Shit. Just lazy. A lot of people don't agree with pork, but mm, it is so fucking good. And people say don't eat pork because it clogs your arteries and stuff. You need your fucking arteries clogged. Because if not, your blood would just be flowing freely and you'd be ready to fucking kill everybody. So, ah, shut up! Just because you're boom, boom. Heart's beating real good. You ever go to a farm? All the animals are like, we're gonna die, we're gonna die. But the pigs just laying there, whatever. <laughs> Ow, baby. Rub some mud on me, baby. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all good. Sometimes I wish that I could meet a young terrorist on his way to do some diabolical shit. What if I was the determining factor? I could stop him. You know, like I could just be out chilling and I see this guy rushing. He's got his backpack full of explosives. He's not running because he can't because they wear those girl sandals. <laughs> and I go, yo, Muhammad. How do you know my name? <laughs> Lucky guess, dog. <laughs> Come here, man. I, I have something to do. What is it? Why don't you say, eat this sandwich? Okay. It's quite good. What is it? Swallow it. <laughs> Ham. <laughs> I cannot eat this. It's too late. <laughs> you ain't got but 10 minutes to live. Try some new shit, man. Go ahead. But he leaves now. This is the way the story goes. He leaves. Not moving as fast because that pork is in the system. He slowed down a little bit, you know, like, yeah, all right, I'm going to get there. And then he goes, ah, la, 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 la. And he goes, what the fuck am I doing? Because he's got to, you know, but he thinks, you know, they've promised, what, 72 virgins in the afterlife. 72. <sighs> Sounds good on paper, doesn't it? Right? You look like a cool guy. You ever have sex with one virgin? Yeah, you remember what that was like? Uh, stop, no, somebody's coming. Uh-uh, pull it out, uh, it hurts, uh-uh. Okay, what about this? I'm not gonna put that in my mouth. <laughs> okay, well, we can cuddle. Ouch, that's the wrong hole. <laughs> Who wants to hear that from 72 fucking people? <laughs> so how's the afterlife going? It's all right. Hey, God bless you. I'm Tony Woods.